Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is busy. And this is the Concept Prickle, which also comes in another blade shape, a Tonto blade shape, which is actually a pretty wicked looking Tonto that looks extremely useful, especially for like utility tasks. This is going to be more of a versatile blade shape, being more of a drop point blade. And Concept is doing some amazing work this year. They have a lot of really cool knives coming out. Their catalog looks really awesome. I'm really hoping to check out um, their Sheepdog that's coming out. Um, I think in, oh man, I don't even want to say specifically, but it's coming out very soon. They're going to be dropping knives basically every month, every, every month to every other month. And... It looks really awesome, and if you want to check that catalog out, go down in the description. I have it linked. I have the 2020 and the 2021 catalog linked below. Definitely go check it out. Awesome, awesome knives. So I want to thank Concept for sending this to me to review. I really appreciate it. They know I do the good and the bad on all my reviews, and they, they like the honesty that we bring through our reviews which i think is only beneficial to any knife company so it definitely shows you know something about them that they they really care about the community and they you know they want honesty which is awesome so i love that about them so the designer is i can't pronounce the last name but max kachuk i'm guessing kachuk Anyways, so the designer is Max Kachuk. I think that's how you pronounce it. I Forgive me if I'm wrong, if I'm saying that wrong. And it's in 154 CM blade steel, steel liners, G10 scales, and a titanium clip. The action is a front flipping action, which we'll get into right now. So you can see the how the front flipper is up pretty high which i do like i i you know if it's going to be very short then it better flip very good because there's no reason why they can't put a tall flipper tab like this one which gives you a lot of leverage because when you put it in your pocket you know it's not poking out anywhere so you might as well have a tall flipper and when you open it it just circles around and gets you know into the handle so it might as well be a tall flipper which this one is and i like because it gives me a lot of leverage a lot of room it's very very easy to do and it's pretty enjoyable so all you got to do is put your finger either right in front right here and apply i'm just going to break the detent apply pressure and then once you apply pressure and get to there, you just let your finger continue. So you basically set it there, apply a little bit of pressure, but not enough to break the detent. So just enough to just push it on there. Then when you're ready, you snap. You just push it all the way through, breaking the detent, letting your finger go all the way over. Apply pressure, break. Very, very easy. Or you can kind of go up on top where you're kind of more on top, not right here in front, but more on top and kind of drag it a little bit down with this one. I mean, you don't have to, but because you could just go right around the front. It's very, very easy. And then there's also the ways where you kind of pinch it and you know, snap it open like that. It's not as easy. There's the ways where you wrap it around this way and you snap it open like that. Not as easy. But this way is very easy. The lock bar, very easy to get to, very easy to disengage, very strong lockup, no problems with any direction, very, very solid. And like I said, lock bar is easy to access, push it and it drops. Let it hit your nail, very, very smooth. Now you could just push it like this, right there is the detent. So you could just push it past there. It's very, very smooth. If I was just going to let it drop, extremely smooth, nice and centered. Blade length is um, a good, good EDC length, 3.5 inches, 8 inches overall. We will do some size comparisons at the end. But the action is really good. Very fun to fidget with, very easy to fidget with too. Because it is on ceramic bearings with a ceramic detent ball, so... It's also extremely smooth. T 
pivot t6 back here we have a we have a couple standoffs let's talk about it. it's cutting so i have to say this thing kind of surprised me on how well it actually cut because since it's such a short blade with not a thick blade stock but you know a lot of blades like this don't really cut the best you know it's usually the taller blades where the geometry has a lot of room to drop but this thing cut very very good surprisingly i mean it a lot of it had to do with the geometry because it just fills your hand very nicely and this little spot right here kind of pushes up into your hand but slicing with it worked very very well i brought it to work was cutting all kinds of cardboard with it i cut some straps i cut uh, i cut a bunch of stuff but it just seemed to work and blaze through the material a lot better than i would have expected and i was very happy with it i love the way it cut uh just the way it felt in the hand i felt like i had a lot of leverage and plenty of blade length where you know the the blade wasn't slipping out or anything like that lots of traction because the jimping is done very very well love the way the jimping is done so yeah, I was super impressed with its its slicing performances and the way it cut. It cut extremely, extremely well. Now, for the utility cuts, same thing. Very, very good. You have this little flat spot back here. Same thing that kind of helps you with the slicing. You can push right up into your palm and get a lot of traction through the the utility cuts so it seemed like regardless of how i held it it just worked and utility cuts are very very good um, i would imagine that even the the tanto version is going to cut extremely well very very happy with the control i had with the utility cuts and basically it felt like it was like an extension to my finger because a lot of times with utility cuts i put my finger on the spine when i'm doing it and it just seemed like it was like an extension to my finger and everywhere i went i felt like i knew right where the tip was gonna go and it did very very good super impressed with the utility cuts and the slicing performances of this blade i was not expecting it to cut as good as it did 15 thousandths behind the edge is good you know it has a very good thinness and i measure that directly behind the edge bevel some people go a little bit higher i do it right behind the edge bevel because that's you know the actual thickness that's going to go through materials and you know, a, a, you can kind of relate it to the Benchmade 940 because it has a shorter blade. Here's the Benchmade 940. Kind of like that, except for with a little bit better blade geometry. The stock thickness is a little thinner, but just the height of the blade. So it's kind of like a 940 that just cuts better. Uh, the tip is nice and strong, yet acute enough to where you have good performance with the tip. It's going to be able to trace things out, open things up, pretty much whatever you need to do with the tip of a knife, this thing can do very, very well. So especially for EDC tasks. So great, great utility cuts, no complaints at all. The ergos are very, very neutral. I'm going to do a slow roll. Eh, we'll check out the action again towards the end. Um, so the ergos are very neutral and you can grip it in just about any grip for comfort whether you're doing the utility cuts whether you're doing push cuts and you want to get up nice and close to the blade you don't have a flipper tab there so very easy to do that you could go back here for slicing um you can use this spot back here even to when you're when you are slicing to kind of push up into your palm for slicing like it's very comfortable in the hand yes it has a clip but no i do not feel it i don't feel it much at all i mean it has a clip so i obviously know it's there but it's not something that gives me any real hot spots or anything the but the most time i feel it is in a reverse grip because my fingers land on it but that still works good too so if you need to pop some straps or cut rope or anything you know reverse it'll work just fine the 
the Ergo's very neutral, nice good thickness in both directions. And since it's not very tall, it's nice that it is a little bit thicker right here. I mean, it's not really that thick, but I just mean it gives you enough to where you can squeeze it. Because if it was any thinner, it would... Or if it was very thin, I should say, it wouldn't be as easy to get a good grip. And in this case, you have the ability to get a good grip. Nice G10. Really like their G10. The G10 is well done. Good quality. 154CM is a great blade steel. You see a lot of custom knife makers using it. Because it's easy to do, it's easy to work with, it's easy for knife makers to get right, it's easy to heat treat, and I'm happy with it. I like 154CM, I just don't like to see it with a polished edge. In my opinion, it takes a toothy edge better, so if you're going to sharpen it, you're going to want it sharpened between 4 and 800 grit, you know. I love it at 600 grit, me personally, but I don't like going over 1,000 grit with 154 cm that's me personally the blade has a beautiful stone wash to it i love stone wash blades probably my favorite uh, finish on a knife and their stone wash is very it's so good i love their stone washing it's beautiful it has a semi-reflection as you can see but it will hide scratches very very well the clip this clip works so good. So good. This is a perfect example of a titanium milled clip. One, you do have just a little bit to grab, plenty to grab. It's it's still pretty deep in the pocket. Like not much really hangs out, but it works so good in and out of the pocket. This thing will carry so easily and you won't even know you have a knife in your pocket, but when you want to, you have a full-size knife in your pocket. It slides in and out just fine. It hangs on to the pocket really good. Very comfortable in and out of the pocket. If you know what it feels like to put a comfortable clip in and out of the pocket, meaning the way it slides in and out of the pocket is very comfortable, then you know what I'm talking about. It works so good, and a lot of milled clips don't get it right, but this one does. It works so good. Concept is doing very, very good titanium milled clips so if having a good clip is important to you this is a great titanium clip plenty of ramp and plenty of tension nice and strong and it looks good too i wanted the satin blade but they do have these in other configurations so this is not the only way you have to get this knife you can get it with coated blades you they have a bunch of examples and like i said other blade shapes or one other blade shape the tanto blade shape so but this is the one that i chose so if you would want you know a different color or anything like that they do have that so let's talk about some bad. I did not sharpen this, but I will say the choil is not great. Now, let me show you why. So if you look at this, you can see the choil right here. The plunge lands right at the beginning of the choil. So you will definitely get a smile on this when you sharpen it. It's just a fact. You are going to get a smile because right here is thicker than right here. Now, it is nice and thin behind the edge at about 15 thousandths, but it does have uh, not like a very thick blade stock. Beautiful jimping, though. Jimping is done very, very well, but it's not tall. So starting out with a very thin blade stack to me is a, a better option for a short blade. I'd love to see a little bit thinner blade stock. Not that this one's really thick, so don't don't take me wrong here. I'm not saying this is ridiculous. I'm just saying it'd be cool if it had just a slightly thinner blade. And that's just wishful thinking, not, not really a bad thing. But this choil, though, I do wish they had a bigger choil so that when I sharpen it, it doesn't create a smile. I did not sharpen it to prove it, but it's a fact. It will get a smile when you sharpen it. 
100%. And what a smile is, is when you sharpen it, the sharpening is going to go up right here and it will create the, the edge will go like this. And then it will, if you see the shining right here, basically that right here where it's shining a little bit, it'll look like that, but it'll actually be there right now. It's just a little bit of a reflection. The sharpening edge will actually sharpen up right here and you will see it. Even though I'd like to see a bigger choil right here, there's the stop pins are internal stop pins up here. So you do have plenty of room back here to add in a choil. It is very, very easy. I've shown it in multiple videos how to add in a sharpening choil and no problems. You can definitely add one in. The internal stop pins make that possible. So you can kind of see them right there. It's got pretty tight fit and finish. So it's hard to see or pretty, should I say, um, tight tolerances. So, which I'm happy to see. I like seeing tight tolerances, which this does have. Next thing, I kind of wish that this top part right here had a, I had one more jimp or two on top. This part right here is slick. So the jimping's done very, very well. Don't get me wrong. The jimping they did put on here is very good, very grippy. It's the, it's, the exact kind of jimping I love. So I love this kind of jimping. No complaints on the jimping itself. It's very grippy. I love it. And it works very well. But I, I would have liked to have seen just two more jimps up top because I want to just set my finger on top and go like that. And I can't. It's just too slick. I have to kind of go in front. Now, I can get it kind of, if I get that very top jump, the way I was saying it in the beginning with the action, I can do that, but I'd like to go up even higher and really get just the peak right here and flip it, but I can't because we run out of jumping, you know, it'd be cool if there was just one or two more, even maybe one right here on top. The next thing you guys already know, T6s. I don't know why knife companies are using T6s anymore. Use T8s all the way around. It's just easier for us to take apart. It makes it very simple. You only have to use one screw to take it apart. You don't have to sit there and switch around hardware. And you don't have to worry about them stripping out because T6s strip out very, not very easily, but you got to be a little more careful. So it's just nice to see T8s. Next thing, the pivot. <laughs> we have black screws, black liners, black clip, silver pivot. I know it matches the blade, and I do prefer the stonewashed blade. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't like the black, you know, um, pivot screw, just because it matched a little bit better. It's not that big of a deal. But, you know. I'm nitpicking here. I got a nitpick. So all in all, this is an awesome knife. It's going to work very good for so many people. It's very comfortable in and out of the pocket, very comfortable in the hand. The blade shape is going to be super useful for so many people. Easy to deploy. The action's awesome. It's super smooth and it's cool, man. And especially for people that like the front flipper knives, the nice slim knives that, uh, you know, that are easy to carry. This is very good knife for, for that type of person. I know I like it. I think it works out good. There are a couple complaints, you know, but not, not really. They're all just basically nitpicks. And in all reality, this is a good knife, a good from flipping knife that'll work great for a lot of people. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you, Concept. And definitely check out that catalog if you have not already. Peace.